Hey everyone, Tyler here. In this video, I'm gonna give you four reasons why you should be using hard light in your videos and how it can level up your lighting and make your lighting look more realistic and more visually pleasing. So if that's something that interests you, then let's hang around, nerd out about lighting, and let's jump into the first reason, and that is for motivating your key light. A lot of times when filming interviews, we want to use a window or a natural light source to act as the motivation for a key light. And the reason why we do that is because that looks the most natural because we are expecting light to come through a window or something like that. But in some cases, we may not have the ability to have a window in the frame. Maybe your location's in the conference room in the middle of a building and there's no windows in that room. Or maybe the framing just looks best without a window being in the frame. Regardless of the situation, we can utilize hard light to kind of fake that motivation to give off the illusion that light is coming from that direction of the frame. One of my favorite ways of doing that is using something like a spotlight mount with some kind of gobo in there just to add a little bit of texture in the back of a wall. Or even like in this scenario right here, the window wasn't actually in the frame, but I pushed light through the window and created these dramatic shadows on the ground and on that back wall to give the illusion that there is light coming through a window. But if there isn't a big window or a glass door or something like that, you can use something like a spotlight mount or even like a Fresnel or just a bare bulb and put like a fake plant or something like that in front of there just to create some shadows on a back wall. And what that does with the shape and the direction of the shadows, you can kind of trick the viewer into thinking that a light source is coming from that side of the frame. For example, right now I'm actually using hard light in this frame right here. There's not a single window in this room, but I've got a little bit of hard light just coming off frame and kind of sweeping across this table. To me, it's kind of helping sell that there is light coming from the same direction as this key light. Now this hard light source that is out of frame is also doing something else that's really important. And this is the second thing that I wanna bring up and that's how hard light can add texture to your scene. So for example, if I AB this light, turn it off and on, you can see what it's doing to this mat right here. As you can see, it's adding just a little bit of shadow and texture right here. I've also got a gobo in there. So what that's doing is creating more texture by breaking up that light pattern. It's also adding some light to the back of this laptop top monitor and then it's adding a little bit of light and texture to this camera here so if I AB it, you can kind of see how all this is working together. Some more examples, like right here on a recent project that I shot, I used a 600D Pro with the Fresnel F10 just to add some texture there on the ground. And this was really helpful because the sun was actually being blocked by the house. So I just brought in the 600D Pro to mimic that sun, to add that texture onto the ground. Back to that example that I showed before, it's adding some texture on the ground with those shadows. And then another shot right here, you can see I'm pushing some hard light through a window, giving some nice shadows and texture there and then here's an example here you can see the window is in the shot but it was an overcast day so i just pushed a 600d pro through the window and that created some more shadows and texture there on the wall so using hard light to add texture to the scene is a really great way to elevate your lighting so before i jump into the next reason why you should use hard light in your videos i want to thank the sponsor of today's video and that is motion array if you like all the little arrows and the little graphics and stuff i've been using throughout this video i've gotten all that from Motion Array. Motion Array has a ton of different types of assets, video templates, stock photos, stock footage, music, and effects. And they have assets that are compatible with After Effects, Motion, Premiere Pro, Final Cut Pro, Avid, DaVinci Resolve. So you're pretty much covered no matter what editor you're using. And probably my favorite section of Motion Array is the motion graphics section. And here you can get all kinds of things like overlays and icons, framing devices, backgrounds. And the reason why I really like using these is because they're just MOV files. And so you just drop them on the timeline and change the opacity to screen, for example, and it takes zero processing power and zero rendering times. And if you're trying to pump out content like me on a weekly or daily basis or whatever, any time you can save in the edit is time back for you to jump onto the next project or whatever the case may be. It's definitely worth the investment. Speaking of investment, you can either choose a monthly or annual plan. If you pay annually, then it'll come out to about $10 less per month as opposed to if you pay monthly. So definitely worth investing in if you are doing a lot of editing. And the cool thing is, is no matter if you are a content creator 
or you're doing client work, you can use these assets anywhere and everywhere and the license follows you for forever. So it's awesome, very easy licensing terms and so there's no like hidden fees or anything you gotta worry about. So if you are interested in signing up for Motion Ray, use the link down in the description below. Speaking of links in the description, there is another link in the description and that is to a lighting breakdown for a recent project where I used the 600D Pro to basically mimic the sun and create some really nice backlighting for a couple of shots. And that'll give us the third reason on why you should be using hard light, and that is for backlighting and adding separation. For this shot right here, I put a 600D Pro with F10 Fresnel on a combo stand and put it behind a tree and use that as the backlight to mimic sunlight for this shot. And this light source helped in a couple of different shots. Number one, it helped with getting some really nice lens flares, but it also added separation and it added more depth because of that light coming towards the sensor. It created some more dramatic shadows, creating thus creating more depth and that texture that I was talking about earlier on in this video. Now, sunlight's probably the first light that you think of that is hard light, but moonlight can also be a hard light source. And so we can use hard lights to kind of mimic that moonlight as well to aid in separating your talent from that background. And also depending on the environment can add a little bit of color contrast to your shots as well. Now, the last reason, and this is probably one of the most fun reasons, and that is through volumetric lighting. When you add haze to your scene and then you push hard light through that haze, you're gonna get these really pretty light rays. So maybe you're pushing light through a window or something like that. Hard light is going to give you much better results on getting those light rays than you would from a soft light source. And haze just makes everything look awesome anyway, so you might as well push hard light through that to make it even look even more epic. So that's pretty much it for this video. Those are the four reasons why you should consider using hard light to just make your videos and make your lighting look better and more realistic and yeah just elevate your lighting in general i'm terrible at outros so i'm just gonna end it here and thanks for watching peace <music>